Tower batch codes, they're very, very important in the Philippines because a lot of the stock does never reappear. Um, now, if you don't know about tiles, um, tiles are done in batches, obviously, but if you get the same tile, different batches, they can have discoloration. So, for example, you could get one that's white and then the next one is cream because it's slightly off white because they were burned in the kiln at a different time and they can never get them 100% right or uh, a lot of the time they can't get it that close especially in the Philippines where a lot of the stuff may be rejects um, the other thing is you could get a really bright blue when a bright red and then the next one is sort of like blue and slightly pink or something so you need to keep the batches the same but also well, why you need to do it is when you do a floor, for example, and then they start mixing them, um, you can see where they're different. The, in the same way, when you get all your tiles together, it's worth mixing them all to get, mix them all up so that you do get a consistent um, color throughout. Because even if there's a slight variation, it's not going to be so noticeable if they're all over it. You know, it's it's mixed in. Um, but also get all your tiles at once because if you don't next time you go they may not have any but they may not have any in the Philippines and they may not be able to get them again because a lot of the tiles are purchased because they weren't a hundred percent so the imperfections you've got the overruns so like say there was like a supplier wanted three million and they made an extra five thousand of them it will be one of those five thousand that the uh, company didn't need so there's only so many left of them um, and they're not going to put them back through production the next one is they're out of date or bankrupt stock so they don't have a regular flow of them it's what's available um, and then you have the defects ones which you have to be careful because they're not square with things which you may think well that's not really an issue if they're not try putting them all together <laughs> <laughs> because the, you can have some that are a little bit wider, you know, because obviously the, the graphic is one way, and then the other one could be a little bit longer, so they don't actually fit together. Um, some of the cheaper places have tiles like that. It, it's quite well. It's funny unless you spend all your money on them. But the the main thing is get your tiles, check that they're all the same batch. Go through them if you can in the back of your van. You want to check the corners because when they pick them up, they normally drop them down. That's what I use my laptop. Being a HP laptop, I don't mind doing this. It's as much use as one of these tiles. Well, the tile's actually more useful because uh, I'll stand on this. It will actually break, although it may actually improve its performance. Anyway, so you imagine they get them out the truck and they'll put them down corner. So they push it down. Ugh, try and do this back to front on the... So the corner's down, and then they bring it down. So this corner gets cracks. You end up with some cracked tiles in the corner. That's why it's always worth checking the tiles on the corners first. And then if you get, you will get some that are cracked right across the middle where they've gone down flat. Um, maybe from a forklift where they, you've got the pallets done nice and put pressure on the tiles. So it's worth checking your tiles before you get them home. Um, but if you do get them home without checking them, check them as soon as you get home. And like I said, mix them up, mix them all together. What I generally do is I'll get the tiles for a room all in one go. I will put them in the room so they can tile the first half overnight and then they can move the excess tiles over the top because the adhesive that we use normally goes off within three hours. So you can actually say, right, I need 50 tiles, blah, blah, blah. Google online if you don't know how many tiles fill a floor because you'll find some will do it in feet, some will do it in meters, but you'll be able to get the equation that you need to tell you how many tiles you need. And always buy at least one box over. Generally, I would buy three because little Jimmy will crack an old tile. Some will get broke when it's getting, getting put down. And a couple of years later, you might decide, well, we're going to move the kitchen. And when you lift it up, there's no tiles under where the units were. So you may actually just want to put a few tiles across there so you don't have to re redo the entire floor. There's all reasons for keeping spare tile boxes. Um, so that's basically tiles. I mean, I know, I know it sounds pretty obvious stuff, but 
a lot of people aren't aware of it and when they do find out it's normally after they've made the mistake of buying all the tiles and got half a floor down etc and I go they're not the same colour <laughs> so this is what I say be aware of these things um, companies like Wilcon will take broken tiles back I've took boxes back before um, where I've gone look I come in yesterday these are all broke I haven't you know it's not even out of the box but I picked the box up and I can feel it flexing in the middle and they no problem they just change it but this is why it's always worth having the spares because you may actually take those back which I did with the bathroom and um, we had some of our spare because I bought excess anyway but the ones I took back they didn't have any more stock off so instead of getting the same tiles back they refund refunded them for the new tiles that were going in a bathroom which were different tiles um, they put a credit note on that um, but I managed to take the tiles back you may think well you don't really need to do that you know the tiles are 2000 pesos each um, they're quite expensive tiles the ones I was using so the, the fact is one box of 10 is a few pesos <laughs> um, but that's what my floors are quite expensive in the apartments. I spent a lot of money on my floors. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to make people aware of these things. Be cautious of it. This is where you're likely going to find that you may waste money if you don't do it right first time around. Right. That's why the planning is important. Planning is the best thing. If you're building a house, renovating a house, doing repairs, whatever it is, do the planning and the what if. What if I didn't have enough tiles? How would I get around this? The answer is you may have to retile the whole thing. Thanks for watching.